Salutations and welcome once again to Minecraft 1.13. I'm your host, Dapper Demon, and today we are going to go over some changes that have been made to the teleport command because I just made a video about teleporting using command blocks and I didn't realize that some things have, uh, have changed. Um, the major thing is that slash tp and slash teleport used to be two separate commands. They are now one command, and I will explain how that is and what the differences are in just a moment. Um, I never knew they were two separate commands. I did not realize that was something that worked differently. Um, so this is news to me. But yeah, so just to give an example of what slash tp is, as you can see I've tested a couple things here. I'm gonna go ahead and slash teleport myself to, uh, not in relative, 90 uh, 22109 and pop myself into this box of water that I have over here. So yeah, uh, this is my build practice world by the way. This is where I practice building things to get an idea of like what I want things to look like and maybe test new mechanics occasionally such as over here where I've uh, made a sort of water tunnel. But that's not important. What's important is uh, teleporting. So I will be right back. So I'm in Minecraft 1.12 now, and I'm going to show you what this used to be. So, uh, let me just switch back to first person. So we're going to put a husk here, because they don't burn in daylight. We're going to name this guy Test1, and that will help us in just a second. So if I look at this command block, this is slash tp slash e name equals test1, uh, relative 7, that's 7 locks sideways, uh, relative one, that's one block up, just to make sure this works properly in a second. And the other one's just relative, basically where it is. So, uh, the relative is apparently with slash tp relative to where the entity is. So since that's right here, uh, he will teleport seven blocks this way and one block up, and then he'll obviously drop back down onto that block. Uh, so let's go ahead and test that. There we go, that worked as expected. Now what I did not know is that slash teleport is act was actually a completely different command. That's what's changed. So if I go ahead and put slash teleport and change that to 2. Uh, so according to the wiki, slash, oh, forgot to name him. So test 2, uh, which should be teleported 7 blocks sideways and 1 block up relative to the command block instead of itself. So that one will now go over there. So apparently that's changed. Um, I didn't know that was different before, but what's different now is that uh, slash tp is just shorthand for slash teleport. So if t slash tp isn't working like you're used to, that's probably why. So I'll go ahead and jump back into 1.13 and show you the difference there. Uh, I'll be right back. So now we are here in the exact same world in 1.3, and let's run this test again. So as you can see, I have uh, changed this back to slash tp, test 1, um, and we're going to see what happens. So before, if you remember, test 1 teleported the, the husk over to this one right here. So if I click this now, it teleports it over to that one, because it is now just using the same shorthand for uh, for the slash teleport command. So that is not something I expected to happen and that is news to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just to make sure changes to slash teleport. Um, click that again. Wait, did I name that guy? I did, okay. And yeah, they're both the exact same command now because they both teleported to that one. Now I guess the way you can prevent that is to, um, you know, I was gonna say something, but I don't, I don't really know if there is a way to change that. Uh, I think that may have messed up a lot of stuff with people's stuff, because like, if, say for instance, you want to teleport blocks to give you the ability to teleport yourself forward a few blocks when you use a specific item. Like, that's not gonna work anymore. So, I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to make make it so that the, uh, the... Oh, you know what? I think I may have figured something out. 
Uh, let me check this out and I will be right back. Okay, so I figured something out through the use of the slash execute command, which also has changed a lot. So I'm going to take a look at this. Um, I guess the way the slash execute command works now is you do slash execute and then at or as, or there's a, a ton of different parameters. Uh, this one will make this specific command work at at e name equals test3. I'm going to go ahead and make that an actual thing that it can target. So this uh, run tp slash e or at e name equals test3. So that's basically saying instead of executing this command at the command block, execute where this entity is and then run the command teleport uh, that entity again to relative seven blocks sideways. So um, now this should teleport him to the middle here instead of over there with the other two. So he's fine over here, so I guess that's what's different now, is instead of slash tp being automatically relative to whatever entity you're talking about, it's um, it's just shorthand for slash teleport. And in order to make it relative to the entity you're talking about, you have to use slash execute at that entity. So if I were to uh, let me just use myself as a guinea pig here, tell kill these guys, uh, and I'm going to have to set this up real quick, I'll be right back. Okay, so now testing myself here, if I do slash tp at p, which would be the player, or I guess I should change that to at a for all players, uh, since I'm doing this for examples for servers, um, so that'll teleport all players seven blocks this way in relative to this specific command. Whoops. Yeah, actually, that was a good example. So since I'm, even though I'm standing right here, it'll teleport me right here. Uh, if I'm standing in this one, it'll still teleport me to that same spot. So if I go ahead and delete this and paste this back in and change these from at E name equals test3 to at P. Um, that'll... Forgot to turn the uh, daylight tax ticks off. Ah, uh, that should teleport me over to the middle of that one. Yeah. And if I'm standing over here, it'll teleport me over in front of that one. So that's how I make sure that it's teleporting me relative to me and not relative to the command block. Um, this could be useful for other things the way they've set this up because they changed. They changed the way the slash execute command works on like a fundamental level, as well as the teleport command, I guess by just getting rid of TP entirely. But um, that would take a lot to go into, so I might make another video on that at some point, just focusing entirely on slash execute and how it's changed. Uh, it seems like they've changed a lot of commands, so if, if any commands that you're used to using aren't working the way you're expecting them to, uh, go to the wiki, and that, that's what I've been doing. That's I actually did not know most of this right before starting this episode. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for help with the slash tp command, I guess you will no longer find that in the wiki at the slash tp command page. I'll look at the slash teleport page, because that's where the information is now, so that's about it for now. So one thing I should point out is when I said um, slash tp is now relative to what operates the command, that means like if you use a command block to execute this, it'll teleport you relative to that command block. Uh, if you're typing it in chat, like if I do slash tp, and then just let's go up 15 blocks, um, this, since I'm typing this, the, uh, the execution is relative to me because I'm the one making this command happen. So if I hit that there, it'll just teleport me up 15 blocks and put me in this glass box full of water that I was standing under. So, yeah. Uh, when you're using them in chat, it, I don't think too much should have changed with slash tp. Um, since you're still... It's relative to the player that was using it, I guess. I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but... Yeah, same with um, slash teleport should do the same thing. So if I just... Do that and then slash teleport it'll still just bump me up 15 blocks. So yeah, um, 
that is about it for today, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, um, I guess. If you are still confused, let me know. I'll see if I can straighten something out, but until next time, farewell.